How do you learn best? Do you use visualizations like diagrams, charts, symbols or pictures? Do you prefer listening to an explanatory audio track? Or do you like learning from abstract texts? Preferences may vary by subject or learning scenario. In a classroom, you're sure to find a colorful mix of all of these different learning methods, and maybe even some you never even thought of. Every person learns differently. So presenting learning content in diverse ways is a central component of any teaching but especially if you want your teaching to be accessible. Now imagine this, a teacher herself might generally be a high visual learner. Therefore, the learning material she provides relies heavily on visualizations. Some students who also tend to be visual learners themselves might benefit from this. Others less so, especially those who have a visual impairment. Images, for example, are non-textual, a visually impaired student relying on a screen reader to access web pages or presentation slides will find visual content impossible to access. As a result, he or she will possibly miss out on information that's crucial for the exam. So if you rely on only one way of presenting learning content, you might be involuntarily excluding students from your course. But what can you do to enable access to visual content for people with severe visual impairment. Basically, it's about making any visually presented information also available as text. A simple picture can be accompanied by concise alternative text. For statistical charts or complex illustrations though, these alternative texts aren't sufficient. So make sure that all relevant information conveyed by these charts and illustrations is addressed and explained in the main script. When this isn't possible, detailed text alternatives can be provided in expandable elements or in linked documents. In such cases, the alternative text serves to point out roughly what the illustration is about and where to find comprehensive information about it. Particularly for charts, it can be helpful to link the raw data, for example, the underlying spreadsheet files. This helps all learners to be able to work with the data and even do their own analyses. It isn't necessary to go on and on about each illustration, diagram, chart, picture, or other visual material. Rather, a textual version of the relevant information conveyed by those visualizations is needed. Make sure the text represents the visual information in an equivalent way. Be sure to double check that no relevant information is left behind. So far, we've been looking at how to make visual content accessible in a written format. But during a lecture, similar considerations apply. Imagine there's a blind person in your audience and you're explaining a complex phenomenon through a diagram. What does this student need to know about what's depicted in the diagram? Explain this to make sure that all students in your class have the same amount of information. Providing alternative text to visual learning content is one way of meeting this demand. And by the way, the explicit textual translation of visual material into alternative texts also ensures seamless machine readability for search engines. Get ready for the future.